Hello guys, welcome to the PIT 5th tutorial in which we will be learning how to use timers in PIC microcontrollers. In the last tutorial we learned how to blink LEDs in a sequence way so that uh, we can get to know how the far loop works, how the while loop works and how do we left shift and right shift in a PIC microcontroller. So if you have not yet seen the last video or the last article please visit circuitdigest.com and in this in this tutorial we'll as i said we'll be learning how to use timers so basically there are three timers in our pic microcontroller it is timer 0 timer 1 and timer 2 in this tutorial we'll be concentrating on timer 0 because timer 1 and timer 2 it just follows the same so if you get to know how to use one timers the other two will be easy so what are timers and what do we actually know uh, what do we need actually to know to work with timers and uh, where do we apply them um, how PIC microcontroller handles timers, everything is given in the tutorial article. So I'll just quickly glimpse you over the code and just give you a basic idea on timers and uh, I'll show you how the project is working, I mean um, the code that we made is working and I'll finish up this video with that. If you want to know a complete uh, details about the timers then I would suggest you to visit circuitdigest.com again. So now, what is timers? So this is the code that I have done to uh, to just uh, show you a demo on how timer works and the hardware that we'll be using is the same one that we used in the last tutorial. Let me quickly show that to you. So um, here it is. Okay. So as you can see, you should be familiar with this board if you have done the last tutorial. So I have used the same sequence of LED, but one button is being added here. So what this button does is it sets the timer. So this is really a cool thing to work out. Like at the end of this video, you'll be able to make this program. What will happen is you can set the delay with this button. So if you press it once, there will be a delay of 500 microseconds. If you press it twice, there will be a delay of one second. So that's how the code works. So you can set the delay using the first button. And once you long press the second button, the LEDs will glow on in that particular direction. For example, if you have set a delay of 500 milliseconds, then in 500 millisecond interval, each LED will be shifted like this will glow. And after 500 milliseconds, this will glow. And after 500 milliseconds, this will glow. Meanwhile, when one glows, the other will be turned off, just like the sequence of LED program. So you can use your creativity and make your own applications out of this. But before that, let's see how the code works. Okay, so the first few lines as usual, they are the configuration bits and then uh, we have the header files included and then, okay, now I would like to tell you this. What is this timer? What does this guy do inside a big microcontroller? So timer is just uh, like any other peripheral in your microcontroller and what it does is it keeps on incrementing. So it keeps on running from 0 to 255 and after it reaches 255, it generates and uh, it triggers a flag that's called the timer flag and then it initializes itself to 0. So 0 to 255, trigger a flag and then initialize to 0 and then 0 to 255 again. But how fast does it run? How fast does it run from 0 to 255? That depends on two values. One is your frequency. As you can see, we have set the timer over here. So this port configuration is used to set the timers. It's okay if you don't understand each line of this because I have explained everything in the article as I said before. But to put it brief, there are two parameters which decide how fast your timer runs. One is your external frequency which cannot be handled with your program. Uh, especially in uh, microcontroller 16FA 77A where you do not have an internal frequency oscillator. So, uh, your external frequency is 20 megahertz. So, one is that and the other parameter is your prescaler. So, this prescaler is software controllable. You can vary it from 1 is to 1 to 1 is to 128 maybe. I'm not sure. Let me check that for you. Mm, yeah, it varies from 1 is to 1 to 1 is to 256 so just this is this was the article that i was talking about this will be in circuitages.com you can go ahead and read it so this prescaler can be set from 1 to uh, some 1 is to 1 to 1 is to 256 as i said so and there is a formula so the formula to calculate the delay is given here the formula is also explained in the article as usual so delay is equal to 256 minus the register value the value which we put in the timer register into the prescaler as i said before and fos is nothing but your frequency of the oscillator so that's it. So using this configuration, we'll set the timer over there and then now we are setting the uh, input and output ports. As usual, we have two inputs, uh, two push buttons that I showed you earlier and uh, eight LEDs which are the outputs. And uh, what happens in the while loop is, as I told you earlier, we have to use one button to set the amount of delay we need and the other button to execute the sequence, right? So 
this button is used to set the delay. Now what happens is, uh -oh. sorry, maybe I'll edit this or maybe not. Okay, not okay. We are back. So what happens is when I press this button, the microcontroller has to take an input that I have pressed this once. But the problem is we humans are very slow compared to this microcontroller, yes. So this microcontroller runs on 20 megahertz frequency. So the time taken to execute one instruction cycle will be one by F that is one divided by 20 megahertz, which is five into 10 to the power minus, what's that, minus eight. So if I'm not wrong, it's approximately equal to 500 milliseconds. So in 500 milliseconds, I am not fast enough to press that button and release my hand. So when I press it, it will take the input like one, two, three, four, five, six. So it, st it starts counting so fast that it won't take it as one input. It will take it the speed it measures. So it must it must have reached a more than ten by the time I take remove my finger. So what I have done is hmm, that's the code. Yeah. So what I have done is so once I press it, once the button is equal to zero. So this button is normally pulled high. So whenever I press it, it gets zero. So whenever I press it, the button turns zero and I make a flag. This flag is software controllable. This is not a hardware flag. So I, I declare a variable called flag and I make it one. And whenever I make it one, that won't happen again because only if flag is zero, that get seconds variable will be incremented. So it will be made, uh, the flag will be made zero again once it is released. So once it is released, it will go back to one. So this is a common technique that most of the programmers use when we deal with push buttons. So that's it and uh, while the rb1 the rb1 is the second button so while i press that button it will be left shifted based on what based on the timer that i have entered here so get seconds is the variable which will get to know how much delay i have set and this get seconds will give the value to the head second so head second is the variable which will be controlled directly by the timer so as you can see head second will be initialized to zero each time get seconds is equal to head second so i don't want to confuse you too much so let's jump into the hardware and I'll show you the output uh, if you are so keen on knowing how it works you should be actually so go ahead and read the article so now I have already dumped the program so let's see how it works so as I said this button will be used to set the delay this button will be used to set the delay and this button will be used to uh, start the sequence so let let us do one thing let let me not press this button let us see what happens i'll directly go ahead and press this button what will happen is since there's no delay um there will be shifting happening uh, to be exact but it is so fast that we can't visualize it but maybe when i press it you can see a small tweak uh, i don't know if you can see it through them to my web camera but but you should be able to see a small tweak but then i press the delay and then uh oh nothing happens what happened okay now let's check out the output i'll press it once as you can see there was a quick flash because the delay was very less so i keep the delay as 500 so this is for 500 now let me further increase the delay one second this is for one second let me go ahead and increase it this is 2.5 sorry now let's decrease it back so i just decrease it so we are back to 500 seconds so that's it uh, as I'm the first button sets a delay for every push, it sets a delay of 500 milliseconds, and when you hold this, it starts executing. So, it's worth having LEDs, you can have your own loads, you can drive in various, it's up to you. Thank you for watching, that's it.